What's going on guys? Uh, we're in the street changing this tire because yeah because I got a flat tire they beat it off the back um, but the bad thing is these cars don't have spares so I have to have to leave it on the jack stand take the tire to the tire shop get a new tire and come back and I can't even put it in the garage because the tires won't pump up enough to get up in the driveway without destroying the rim so yeah we're gonna put the tire on. So yeah guys, uh, I, I kind of messed up this rim, bent it a little bit there. I really don't know how this happened, but it just destroyed the inside of the tire every all the way around it. So I'm going to go get a new tire right now, and yeah. Alright guys, so I just pulled up to Global Tires. Um, if you live anywhere near uh, Atlanta or in the Georgia area, that's not super far from like Lawrenceville or Buford, Come to Global Tires. They have the best tires and the best deals. I, I totally back them 100%. I've always gotten all my tires from here for every single car I've ever had. And I've really never ever had a problem. I had a problem with that tire and that wasn't from Global Tires. So that's, that's why I always go to Global Tire. Alright guys, just got the new tire. Now it's off to the house. And hopefully the car hasn't fallen off the jack stands. Pot holes and everywhere. The... What's up guys? And hopefully the tires didn't fell off the Jackson and the Jack, because um, that wouldn't be fun. I've already had the hardest time getting this tire. Like, it's been such an event. Like, you, you guys have no idea. I, By the I, way, you owe me a new 18 socket. Yeah, I broke his 18 <laughs> socket. Even though it's a 17, but I didn't realize that. So I broke an 18, then I broke a 17. Then I had to get an impact. It didn't go get off of the impact. I couldn't take the wheel off. I even had an air gun, and it wouldn't come off. I had to use a breaker bar and a... Air gun socket, the ones that are designed like tougher, I guess. And it finally came off after a lot of work. And then I have no spare, so that was even worse. And I got a tire from Brandon that was a 16 inch. And um, I didn't realize that the calipers, or not the calipers, the uh, rotors are about 16 inches wide uh, circles. So yeah, it didn't fit either. So I still couldn't even, yeah. And Savannah's freaking out because she wants her car. She just started college like two days ago and she's had to drive the Good old 92 Camry with no AC. So she's not been happy about that. She's been on me about getting this car uh, up and going again. But yeah, so hopefully it hasn't fallen and we can get this tire mounted and uh, be good to go. All right guys, so in recent events with the whole tire going flat and not having a spare, I figured this was a good time to do the five things that I hate about my 335i. It's not that I hate this car. I love this car more than I hate it, obviously. But there are little things that I do not like about this car. The first one, and the most important one being, is the fact that there's no spare tire, and there's not even spare tire room. So if you want to have a spare tire, you have to put it in the trunk above, you can't put it underneath. So that's probably the most annoying thing about this car, that there's not a spare tire. So if you get a flat, and you don't have run flats, which they come stock on the car, but most people probably don't run run flats as a regular thing. So I got the car, didn't have run flats on it, so I. That's one of the biggest things I hate about the car, clipping. Second thing that I hate about this car is the fact that these little trim pieces are kind of falling apart. They're coming off all around the door right here. It's like coming out. I guess that's just being old, but I think they should have made a better material on it so it didn't do that. And then on the steering wheel, this is like coming apart. And I know this is a very common issue on these cars. And then just basically around everything, just kind of like right here, just chipping off and everything. It's not that big of a deal, but it's just kind of a pain in the butt. Like you, you gotta buy a wrap to fix it, and it's just it just doesn't look as good as it should. All right, guys. So the third thing that I hate about this car is this back gets so dirty. From all the, I think it's oil, but it's not like I'm smoking. So it's just oil debris that comes off. I mean, I, I literally just washed the car, and I've already got all these black marks everywhere. And it's stained and it's so hard to get off. It, uh, it really annoys me. That's not really a big deal though. I mean, you just wash it, but it's just annoying because it's so hard to get off and you gotta scrub it. And I mean, it comes with turbo cars, but at the end of the day, it's annoying. All right guys, so the fourth thing that I hate back into the interior is the fact that you can't lock the doors without the key. Now I understand that's a good thing and a bad thing. You try to press the lock door button, Nothing happens. 
if the door is open. But if you close the door, it'll lock, so you can't lock your cars while you're in it. But um, say you want to run out of the car real quick, you want to lock it from inside, and you want to lock it real quick, you can't do that. But at the same time, you can't lock your keys in the car, which is a good thing. So it, that's a good and bad thing. It's kind of one of those things where if you need to lock the, the doors without a key, it's kind of a pain in the butt. And you can't even you can't even push them push them down either. They won't go all the way down. They won't go down. So you can't lock the door without a key, no matter what. And that's just one of the things that just is irritating when you need to lock the door without a key. All right, guys. So the fifth thing that I hate about this car is the electronic dipstick. Now I like the fact that you can check your oil on the go and you can, you know, you don't have to get your hands dirty. I mean, that's better than getting your hands dirty. But at the same time, if it doesn't work, then you can run into a lot of problems, putting too much oil, not having enough oil. There's a lot of things that can go wrong with having an electronic dipstick. And I think it's just one of the things where they should have had an electronic dipstick and a regular dipstick so that you could know for sure if you have if you think it might be messed up, you know for sure that it isn't or is. But yeah, guys, that's the fifth thing that I hate about this car. And yeah, as a whole, I don't hate this car. I love this car, but it has a few things that I really just don't like about the car. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave a like, comment. Let me know if uh, you agree or disagree with the things I said and how you fix them or whatever. And uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe.